Hi, it's Vince McAvity with Hollywood Daily Homes. Today is Thursday, the 19th of August. We've got eight new properties on the market today and quite a differing variety. First one being 6111 Rogerton Drive. This is in the Hollywood Hills East. Here's Griffith Park right here on the map. So we're up there in the hills quite a ways. Built in 1978, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2337 square feet on an 8350 square foot lot. It's offered at $975,000. And uh, it's north of Beechwood, so it's a great part of the, the hills up there, and this is a nice looking home. Granted, it is on a smaller lot, but looks very private from the way the, uh, way the residence is stacked. So a lot of privacy inside the unit. Uh, inside the home, I should say. And uh, three bedrooms, 2,300 square feet, nice size as well. Beautiful kitchen. May need a little bit of an update, but still very charming. And uh, same can be said of the bathroom. But looks like great usable hardwood floors and a nice nice other master bath there. So it, it is an interesting property to say the least. And the price is quite interesting, 975000 in that part of the hills. Really and a great little patio as well. So it's a, a really intriguing home. Nice little canyon view as well. The next home is 3205 Tarico Drive. Again, here's the, this is the Hollywood Freeway. So we're real close to the Hollywood Freeway. Built in 1946, three bedrooms, two baths, 1,750 square feet on an 87,000. So like a two, 87,000 two acre lot. Million one hundred ninety nine thousand dollars. I think they're definitely asking a premium for the land. The home, unfortunately, sits really close to the freeway, and uh, one of the late pictures shows exactly how that affects. I think the noise at the property, and it looks like a, a fairly original home. Um, nice, you know. I love those those old hardwood floors with the thin planks. Really nice. Love the fireplace. Great light in the in the home. And clean, nice looking home. Definitely close to original kitchen, if not original, 1946. Um, it, it's just, and, and that is an absolutely stunning picture. I mean, if that's your backyard, uh, it's storybook. Love the little rusted out car <laughs> sitting on the patio. So, I mean, this is really a storybook looking setting. There's just one major, major drawback, and it's that right there. That is the freeway. So, um, they say it's, you know, maybe a development opportunity, but it is hillside, so that's very expensive when you get into developing that kind of lot. Um, the foundations can run, you know, they can run millions, depending on what your geology says. So it, it is an interesting opportunity, a big piece of land, two acres, $1,199,000. Someone wants to, you know, do a core test and really find out what's there, maybe that's for them. Uh, the next home... 1617 Viewmont Drive. This is again the Hollywood Hills West. Built in 1989. Four bedrooms, four baths, 3750 square feet on a 4909 square foot lot. It's offered at a million eight hundred forty nine thousand. Uh, breathtaking views of the city and ocean. Great light. Many windows. Hardwood floors. Open beam ceiling. Cook, cook's kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. Caesar stone counters. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et it's on the end of a cul-de-sac. Wish there was pictures. Great view. Definitely a nice view for that home. The next property is it's Kings Road, I believe. Uh, 927 North Kings Road, number 307 in West Hollywood, is built in 1969. One bedroom, one bath, 964 square feet, $349,000 asking price, $395 a month HOAs. Um, I mean, they talk more about what's in the neighborhood than the unit, which, and that is a fantastic area of West Hollywood. Great things to walk to. It does have newer carpet, fresh paint, gas fireplace, central heat and air, recessed lighting, smooth ceiling, wet bar, um, new quartzite countertop. So there's the building. So it looks like a nice building. Um, I'd love to see some interior pictures. Oops. And the next home is 850 North Croft. We had one of these units on yesterday. Here's another one for sale. This is built in 2003. Uh, 
two bedroom, two bath, 1,606 square foot unit, $379 a month HOAs, and it's offered at $809,900. Very pretty building, beautiful looking building built in 2003, and you know, just a great courtyard, and this is a really nice looking unit, much like the one yesterday. So, just a and there's actually another one of these that's for sale as well, just next door. So there's quite a quite a variety there on Croft Avenue right now. Nice looking kitchen and a pretty bathroom. So nice nice property, beautiful looking building. Reasonable HOAs at $379 a month. And uh, yeah, nice. That's the one from yesterday. Here's the, the next one, 840 North Croft. Unit 103. Built in 1991, older building, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1,679 square feet, large er space, $669,000 and $325 a month HOAs. So, um, you know, gourmet kitchen in this unit, a lot of a lot of upgrades since 91. So they've taken care of it, and it looks looks very nice. Pretty clean unit. Uh, looks like it's ready to go, turnkey, and they they obviously have some pride in taking care of it. So love the love the older the older style tile floor in the bathroom there with the dual pedestal sinks. It's a really nice touch. Love the tile. And uh, yeah, nice clean looking condo unit in West Hollywood. Another another great unit in a great area. So interesting at six sixty nine, six hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars. The next unit is 6720 Hill Park Drive, number 202. Here we are again, Hollywood Hills West, Sunset Strip. Well, not exactly. That's the, <laughs> that's the Hollywood Freeway. So, um, yeah, I call this the Coenga Pass. And look, there's Coenga Boulevard. So Coenga Pass, right next to the freeway. Oops, did it again. And um, one bedroom, one bath, 1,012 square feet. Built in 1966, it's offered at $346,800. Uh, I believe this is a bank-owned REO. Yeah, this is a bank-owned, bank-owned uh, foreclosure. So 346,000 for a thousand square feet. Interesting. Uh, again, it's just it, to me, you can't fix noise, and when it's something is that close to the freeway, it just becomes a major drawback. I think in terms of resale down the line, or even if, it, if you turn it into a rental property, um, but to each their own. It is a clean, nice-looking unit and a nice kitchen, very serviceable, nice 1,000-square-foot, one-bedroom unit. So a lot of square footage. Uh, if you don't mind the noise, then this might be for you. And it is a good, a good buy at that price. So, And finally, 1203 North Sweetser. Again, West Hollywood. A lot of West Hollywood properties the last few days. Uh, 1203 North Sweetser, number 209 in West Hollywood. Built in 1970. Two bedrooms, two baths, 1,183 square feet. It's offered at $433,000. It's got $370 a month HOAs, $370 a month HOAs. Uh, and it looks like they've kept it up nice. The, the building itself looks nice. Great floor uh, in the unit. And... Yeah, I mean, it looks clean, uh, and the grounds look nice inside the, the building. So, 433,000, two bedroom, two bath, 1,183 square feet. If you'd like to schedule a viewing to see any of these homes, give me a call, Vince McVitie, 310-272-4935. And I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.